All right, so in this episode, we're going to make this. Let's get rid of everything and recreate that. So, so the primary thing to that was the font and then the video behind the font. Um, the font I got off of Google Fonts. They have a ton of fonts. Uh, you would want to use a thicker font for, for this. So let's get our clips quick. So this was the first clip that I picked. And because I worked on this before, I already have the uh, in and out points that I used. So, and then this is just the shot that goes over the rock and then over the edge. So I grabbed that one and that wasn't the one, that was the one. And then this was the other shot. This is just um, people at a ski resort going down a hill. Okay, so these are my three clips that I'm going to use. And I am now going to come up here to the effects library and click on titles, click on text. And we're gonna drag that on top of everything. And now in our inspector over here, we're gonna click on that. And let's say that we were, um, in this video, we were doing a vlog of NYC. So NYC. And then I'm going to pick the font. And this font you can pick up on Google Fonts. Just a thicker font that I can use. And then what I did is I increased the tracking, but it really, it, if you notice, it goes to like the left. So that was one thing that I had to whoa, fix. Um, let's make it a little, let's see how big I can make this. So I think that's good. NYC. Okay, and then I want to center this up. And I would say something like that. It's pretty centered. All right. Now, to be able to do things to this, if you've seen all, uh, all, any of my previous videos where I work with fonts, you'll notice, or, or you'll know that fonts don't come over into the color tab. Um, so we have to make this into a clip. So you'll just right click on it and then new compound clip. And you can name it whatever you want, create. Then it'll become a compound clip. And then from here, what I'm gonna want to do and this will make it easier, is I'm just going to bring the percentage down, the opacity, just to um, go through the clips and set them up. So the first clip here, when we're going through here, I want to have this guy in the uh, N. So I'm clicked on this clip that I'm going to be editing, and it's right here. Let's open our inspector. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna crop the right side Right, just so we have it in there. And I, I'm guessing you get where I'm going with this. And then the rock is a little to the left. So I'm just going to take that clip and I'm going to move the position over just a little bit. So it's in the middle of the Y, something like that. And because this is underneath, I don't have to be concerned with the black space that's now over here. So that's fine. And the only other thing that I want to do is move the right crop over so that I'm not blocking the other clip. And then for this other clip, um, if we turn these off, there's a truck here and I want the truck to be in the C. So I'm going to click on this clip. I'm going to move the position over to here. Let's play this through quick then I can see the truck is staying in the C, so that's good. And I turn all these on. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, I turn them all on, and now I have all three where I want them. So that's great, I can come back up here to my compound clip, and we can turn this back to 100%. Now let's go over into the color tab, and then in the color tab, I'm gonna click on that compound clip. And then I'm going to add a alpha node. I'm gonna copy this or drag this little arrow here. 
and put that into the alpha and then click on my little qualifier and I'm going to qualify out the brighter side of the luminance. So we're gonna turn down the high until it's see-through. If we play it, now we have all three of my shots. How I want them to be displayed. All right, so the other thing that was in that video at the beginning was instead of just having them all here, I had them pop up with music. So one other thing that I wanna do here, as I just noticed, is there's a line here. So I'm going to turn up the blur radius and then pull in where I, I, I'm affecting it. So I'm just turning in the uh, in rate. So now I don't have any of the white that was previously there. I don't know what's going on with this shot over here, but uh, yeah. All right, so now I have them, right? And I'm gonna come back over to the edit tab and I'm gonna bring in that audio track. So we're gonna come back over to my media pool. And this audio track, I have it already uh, where I want to the audio. And the idea here is there's these three little, I want to have each letter pop up for those. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna zoom in so I can see the waveform a little bit better. If you don't see the waveform, what you can do is click this little guy right here and then show waveform. And you just click that to show waveform. And if you wanna make the height bigger, you could, so you can see your waveform. So just about like that. And we're gonna take everything and we're gonna drag over. And what I wanna do is I want to have um, all of my clips start one frame before the note. So as you can tell, right there is where that note starts. So back one frame, that's where I want the bottom clip, or I want this clip to start. So that's that one. Now I'm going to come over here, one clip back, have that clip. There's that one, one frame back, have that guy. Now, there we go. And it's just that simple. And then for over here, right where that comes in, I'm just going to cut or drag, stop everything. And then I'm going to start my next track, which was this guy. So I just started it right where it starts moving. Put that on there. And right where the second part starts up. I'm gonna have my next track, which was just this little clip here. And now let's let everything render quick. Alrighty. pretty much that simple. And the other thing that you could do is you can come in and let's say this shot is too blue. So you can just come over and click on that shot. And if you want it to, you could just turn this off for now so you can see this. And then for this shot, you could just color this, you know, how you want it to. So let's save this quick. And let's say we wanted to throw a little white on there and maybe over here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just pulling here, pulling this up a little bit, make it a bit brighter, and also moving the gamma. I guess this would make it a little easier to see, just so we're a little brighter. Something like that. Then come over to this one, and what we could do is, uh, in here, our tint, 
we could add a little bit of green in there and then maybe warm it up just a little bit. I'm using my panels, but these are the two things that I'm adjusting to take some of that green out of there, so or the, the pink out of there. So that's how it was before and then how it is now. Make it a little brighter, something like that. And then our middle shot, let's first come over here. We can turn off these so we can see a little bit more of the shot. And then our middle shot here, we could bring it up a little bit. And all I'm really doing is just adding more contrast in here. I'm just using my uh, the Y curve for the for the lift gamma and gain. So it's this little bar here that I'm moving to pull a little more contrast in there. So with it off, with it on, um, making a muck of the sky. But I mean, it's already blown out, so it is what it is. If anything, I gave it better roll off. <laughs> All right, so let's come back over to here, turn these back on and see how it looks now after it renders. Alrighty. Now, if you notice, we see a little bit here and a little bit here. So we have to fix that, okay? So what? how to fix that now is we want to go over to our um, compound clip which is our letters and we want these to not be like this and the reason why they're like that is because when I'm adjusting this clip I'm adjusting the black value which then you know is coming through those letters so now we have to fix this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a node before this and you could just right click add serial node before or you could come up to nodes, add serial node before, or just hit shift S. So I'm gonna hit shift S, making a node before. Now, I'm gonna come into my power windows, I'm gonna make a power window, and I'm going to increase the size to fill up this whole thing, and I'm gonna take off the softness. And you'll see why here in a second. All right, so now I'm going to bring down my levels. So I'm just in my offset. I'm going to bring them all the way down. So we have pure black. Okay, now we're all the way down. And then we're going to bring up our timeline here. And because we're going off of music, we need to set um, keyframes for when we're showing each of the letters. So we're going to come over here to tracker. We're going to come into frame. And now that we're in frame, anytime we move this, it's going to make a keyframe. Let's come back over to here. And remember, it, everything was set up as, for one frame in. Okay. So one frame in. So we have this lined up here, one frame in, we reveal. Then we come over here and we have to just adjust it a little bit. It's fine, you just move it around a little bit just so it makes another keyframe. One frame in and show the letter, okay? Then we come over, oops, to here. Wiggle it a little bit, one frame, show. Now let's play and see how it's looking. Okay, so now we're pretty good. Back to how it was previously, but now that we colored it, we don't have that little bit of uh, black value that, that got changed. And all that's happening is we're just revealing it. So when I, as I play through here, it's just revealing them. And then once you had your reveal of, oh, this is New York City, then you can just, as the music goes on, you could edit your video or whatever it may be. I just wanted to show a cool way of 
displaying letters and in each letter having a different video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you have any suggestions or comments about this, let me know down there as well. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.